everybody what's going on it's your girl just t coming at you with another recipe baby so today on this awesome day that god has allowed us to see we are going to make some cube steak smothered in some gravy mm -hmm, that's right cube steak smothered in some onions and some gravy boo so in order to get started of course we need that star ingredient cube steak right mm, i love some cube steak and i haven't made cube steak in a while and i had a taste for some so i'm like okay let me share this with y'all so we need some cube steak we're also for seasonings we're going to use some garlic powder i have some black powder i have some laurie seasoned salt I have some onion powder, and y'all know, mm-hmm, boo, got my sassoon. I don't make nothing without that sassoon, boo. Some beef broth, and we also have some, some cream of mushroom soup. Now, if you don't like cream of mushroom, because I'm not big on mushrooms, but I do like to cook with them. Right here, I have some onions. I had, uh, this is a small onion that I sliced up. And in here, I'm just sauteing this right now so I can get this part out the way. So I just cut those into slices. And I have about a tablespoon of margarine in there. Or you can use butter, but I like margarine. So I have a tablespoon of that in there. I just want to get some color on them because let me see if I can show you guys. See how they're starting to get some color on those? That's what I'm looking for. And then once that happens, I'm going to take those out and set those aside in a plate. But yeah, I want them to get that color. Just like that. They're getting there. So I'm probably going to cook these a little bit, maybe about five more minutes. I'm going to let those um, saute for. And then we're going to get on to the next step. But let's move on to the next step. Next step. Ah. Okay, everybody. So I got those onions sauteed on the, on the stove. I'm going to show you. But I apologize because I did forget to tell everybody about the flour. <laughs> got to have some flour, right? We got to have some flour, baby. So get yourself about a cup. This is probably about a cup of, mm -mm, that's probably like a cup and a half of flour right there. So you don't need a lot of flour. So we're going to get these seasoned up. So we're going to put some, now I'm not measuring my seasonings, y'all. Come on now. You're going to have to learn how to eyeball your shit, all right? So we're just going to sprinkle. Now this is the Laurie's seasoned salt. So we just going to sprinkle some on there. I don't use a lot of it because you know how I am with the salt. So you gonna, let me put these on here so I can maybe show you guys a little bit better. You might be able to see that a little bit easier. Like, come on, T. Come on, baby. What you doing? So let's sprinkle some of this seasoned salt on these cube steak. I hope everybody is doing like awesome today. You know, like it's a blessed day. About to be a whole nother year. Lord have mercy to go by so fast. So I just sprinkled just a little bit on them. Just a little bit. I don't like a lot of seasoned salt. And this is some onion powder. Some onion powder. Hopefully I'm in view. Sprinkle that on there. I would say like on, um, to me, you know, about a, teasp a, a teaspoon of onion powder, like, for all of them to me. But you go by your taste buds. You know, everybody's taste buds are different. So, you know, sprinkle that on there. And we're going to get some garlic powder. Open this up. Got some garlic powder, y'all. Let's sprinkle some of that on there. Now, I love some garlic powder. Y'all already know. So, I'm going to use a good bit of garlic powder on there. Mm -mm, you can't ever have too much garlic powder. <laughs> and I always buy garlic powder, not garlic salt. Because garlic salt, to me, it is very salty. And um, ain't nobody got time for that. Now we're going to use some black pepper. I'm just going to go in and sprinkle a little bit of that on there. I said, use, you know, use your judgment when you're seasoning your food. Because nobody's, you know, those are your taste buds. So you're going to know what tastes good to you. And to me, too, if you smell your meat, <laughs> that probably sounds funny, smell it once you're done seasoning it. Because to me, I could smell it and I can tell if I'm going to need some more or not. And now, going in with my sassoon. I love sassoon, y'all. I cannot stress to you how much I love sassoon. And I just go on those and just sprinkle some on just to cover it. So I'm not really sure how many packs. I'm thinking I'm going to use two packs, two envelopes of Sassoon. 
So I used to just go on and sprinkle this right on there. So yeah, that's about one pack right there. So we already got that side done. So we're just gonna flip this over and do the same thing to the other side, baby. Do the same thing. Let's go ahead and go in with that Laurie Season Salt. Sprinkle a little bit of that on there. Because Laurie's, I don't know what y'all doing, you know, with the Season Salt thing. Because um, I think it's gotten a little bit saltier. Either that or I'm just getting old. I don't know. So I just don't use a lot of it anymore. So you got that Season Salt. It's going with some more, some onion powder. Just going to sprinkle that on there. Y'all, when I tell you I love cube steaks, oh, and they're going to come out so tender, y'all. You're going to be able to just slice these with your fork. And to me, when you're cooking food, you know. Oh, let me turn my stove down a little bit. That's ready, baby. I hear you back there. I'm sorry about that, y'all. So I have my pan heating up on the stove to get ready to put these in. And go in with some black pepper. Like I said, use your own judgment, boo, when you um seasoning your food. Garlic powder. I use this liberally. I love some garlic powder. I'm gonna go in now with my last envelope. Sassoon. Like I said, you gotta look at the packets on those too because they're all different. They all have different flavors, but this is just my favorite one. So I'm gonna go on and just put this on all of these like so. And then we're gonna put these into that flour. Okay, so we got that done. So now let's get these in her. In her. Just gonna push them down in there like that, like so. I'm gonna get that flour all in there because that's gonna help too with your with your gravy. I'm over here getting flour, y'all. When I be using flour, I have flour everywhere. I swear to goodness I do. Have it all over the place. So we're gonna get those all floured up. I'm gonna get all these floured up, y'all, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna put those on in our pan. Okay, so we're going to get these on in this pan. And in this pan right here, I have just a little bit of flour. Just a little bit. It's probably, this is probably about, hmm, I'll say like a cup of oil, half a cup of oil. Just enough to cover whatever bottom pan that you're going to be frying these in. And a little tip too to let you know, um, when your flour is ready and it's hot, I know this pan hot because I can feel the heat <laughs> coming off of it. But just to show y'all. When you add your flour in there, it's going to sizzle up. It's going to sizzle up. Let me show you again. When you put flour in there, oh, it's going to sizzle right up. See that? That's when you know your pan is ready and it's hot. So we're going to get these on in here because we just want to brown these. I want to get a nice brown like outside to them because we're going to put these right in the oven. So, And you don't want to overcrowd your pan either so if you have to just cook them in batches it doesn't take that long you're gonna want to do like maybe like three or four minutes on each side and I have my stove um, set on medium I'm gonna pat and get all that flour on there but then shake it shake it off shake it off yeah and so I'm gonna have one more too Oh, and see, there go my, let me show you those. Oh, onions, let me get, where's my food? Show me these onions, how they look. And this is how those onions look that I sauteed. I wanted to get those that nice brown color like that. Now, you don't have to saute your onions to that point. You can take, you know, saute, if you like them a little bit lighter, then saute them for less time I just like that color of them and they they have a nice taste I like a little bit you know a little brownness to my to my onions so I'm just trying to get this other one 
pack it down in this flower. And two, once you're done flowering your cube steak, hold on to that flower for a minute. Just hold on to it. Don't throw it away just yet because you might need it to help thicken up your gravy. Or if you're making gravy, use that flour right there instead of getting some new flour out the bag. Ain't nothing wrong with that flour right there. You can make gravy right with that. And these are gonna shrink up a little bit too, so. So you wanna let these cook for like about like I said, about three or four minutes on one side, and then you're going to want to turn them over. Oh. Okay, so let's check these and see what they're looking like on the bottom. Uh-oh, they're getting there. They're getting there. Just a couple more minutes because we don't want to fully cook these on the, you know, on the stove top because we're going to put these in the oven because we want these to come out nice and tender. Nice and tender. Stay with me. They got to be nice and tender, just T. Yes, baby. So... They're getting there. Oh, and I see that Sassoon is giving those that nice little red color, y'all. I love some Sassoon. Oh, my gosh. That Sassoon adds some nice flavor to it, too. It definitely does. Okay, so we're about to get ready to flip these over and just let them brown on the other side. that nice little color they got they have see that nice little brown color on those oh yeah baby those gonna be awesome awesome so we're gonna let those do the same thing we're gonna let those cook and let those brown for like two or three minutes about three or four minutes i'm sorry on that side and then I'm gonna take those out that pan I'm gonna actually do the other one because I have one more if you remember I had four so I'm gonna put the other one in there and let that cook and once I get all of those done then we're gonna move over to the next step okay so we back and they're all done I dredged up dredged those in that flour and we put them on the stove top each side for like three or four minutes you just want to get a nice little brown color on them you don't want them to cook all the way so now we're going to set these aside right there in that plate and remember i told you guys to keep that flour right see that little bit of oil in that pan you can see that little bit in here so what i'm about to do is we about to put a little bit of this flour right in that pan just put a little bit in here right on in this pan I'm about to cook this flour y'all so that was like a little tablespoon of flour. Just want to cook it. Because this is going to help with our gravy. And I can tell, you know, like, you don't really, you would add, the amount of flour that you would add to it is, like, if you had one tablespoon of oil, then you're going to add one tablespoon of flour. If you have two tablespoons of oil, then you're going to add two tablespoons of flour. Now you can do the same thing with, um, with butter as well. If you got two tablespoons of butter, then add two tablespoons of flour. And that's how you would know, um, you know, equal parts, basically. And I'm going to leave this a little bit loose, a little bit. I'm going to add another little bit of flour in here. Put it a little thicker. A little bit thicker, baby. Y'all, I love to cook. I swear to goodness, I do. I love to cook. And I just wanted to, like, make my YouTube channel just to try to share some recipes with people. You know, just if I can help one person that might not have known how to make something, then I'm good. Even if it's just one person. You know, I'm not on here trying to be YouTube famous and you know what I'm saying? It is what it is, y'all. But I really appreciate everybody who does watch and support my channel. I swear I appreciate y'all from the bottom of my heart. That's real talk. That's real talk. So I'm going to turn this up just a little bit. Put that on eight so I can see where I am. And see, that's like how brown that gravy would be. 
it would be that color. You can also add to your gravy. You can add that gravy master to them too. So let me get this, show you guys this. So in a bowl, I just put this one can of beef broth, beef, beef, beef broth, and that can of cream of mushroom and garlic. Okay, stuff don't burn up. Don't want to burn up. Don't want to burn it up. Don't want to burn it up. Let me take that off of there. Mm. So I'm about to mix this together in this bowl. I'm about to pour this all right on in here. I would have mixed it up a little bit better, but I needed to hurry and get it into my pan for my flour start to burn. So mix that all up like so. And now we're going to add in, remember those onions that we sauteed, let's add those in there as well. Let's get those babies in there. And this is all going to cook down. Now, like I said, if you want your gravy a little bit darker, you can always add a little bit of that gravy master in there, but it's going to darken up some as this cooks. We're gonna get our cube sticks in here. Yeah, let me get this. Let me show you guys if I have a little bit of that. On the gravy master. This kitchen banquet. I add a little bit of that in there. So I need to get some more of this. I'm not sure how much I have in here. Just gonna add a little bit of that in there. Let me start this off and see. There we are. Yeah, that's about it right there. So you can add a little bit of that in there. And you can add more um, if you want it to be a little darker. And also like how it's, you know, the cream of mushroom soup is a little lumpy looking. It's going to be smooth. Once we get this all cooked down, it's going to be smooth. You won't see none of that. So I'm about to get this meat in here. And I have my oven set at 350. Let's get those in there. So we're going to put this in the oven at 350 for about 35 to 45 minutes. I'll let you guys know once, once I actually see how much time I, I leave them in for. You want to cover those up too. So cover them up. And you can put this on the stove top. You don't even have to do this in the oven if you don't want to. You can always put a lid on it and put it right on, on the stove top and just set your temperature for simmer. Just let it simmer on the stove top for about a, about a good hour, I would say, on the stove top. So we're going to get these babies on into the oven. So I'm going to put these right on in the oven. And I'm going to leave them in, like I said, for about 35 to 45 minutes. And once they're done, I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you. We're going to eat these together, boo. We're going to eat these together, together. All right? All right. Hey, everybody. It's just T. We back, right? I had those cube steaks in the oven for about 45 minutes. And I just took them out, but I wanted to leave this foil on there to let you guys see, just in case you don't have like a, a um, top to a pan that can go into the oven. This is what I did. I just put some foil on top, pressed it down, make sure you seal. Oh, it's a little hot. <laughs> make sure you seal all around the side with that. All right. And these are our cube steaks, baby. These are our cube steaks right here. Let me get my little pot holder because this is going to be a little warm. But um, they came out awesome, y'all. Look at that gravy. Nice and thick. Remember I told you it was going to thicken up? So that gravy has thickened up. That, that gravy is nice and thick. Let me get one of these. Look at my little hand, y'all. I love this little, <laughs> little oven mitt. But um, let me get this plate. Let's get one of these on here. I got me some rice. And I also made some corn. Look at my plate, y'all. It's just messy. Just messy. 
Put some of that gravy on there. This is going to be so good. I swear y'all got to try this recipe. It's really easy. And like I said, just give it a little bit of time. Hold on. Let me clean my plate off, y'all. I'm sorry. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. That's cleaned off a little bit. But that is it. Look at that, y'all. Look at that cube steak. Mm-hmm. Come get some. You know y'all always welcome to come over here. Let me get me a fork, baby. Let me try this. This is going to be awesome. You can, you know, put your little size with it or whatever. You can cut this. With a fork, y'all. Cut it with a fork. Mmm. Ooh, a little hot. Mmm. Really good, guys. Ooh, that is hot. Mmm. Nice and tender. Yeah, that is nice and tender, y'all. Look at that. Let me see. Can you see that? Mmm. Come get some. Y'all, this is so good. And with that mushroom gravy, like little mushrooms like that, I can do. I can do those little ones in here like that. But put you some sides with that, some corn or some string beans or whatever kind of size you want with it, y'all. I swear, make this. This is an awesome dish and it's easy. Really easy. Easy to prepare and it tastes good, y'all. And it's cheap. Mm, we like that. Cheap, right? Yes, it's good and it's cheap. Go ahead. Make that dish. I promise you guys. Follow that recipe. You're going to love it. Awesome. I hope you guys enjoy my video. I hope all you guys forever stay blessed. And thank you so much for watching, y'all. It's just tea. God bless.